Throughout the course of Silent Hill, we find ourselves in a position with few allies and little comfort as nightmares bleed into reality. However, amongst all the death and chaos, there is a single soul who is willing to lend us a helping hand, this being Sybil Bennett. This singular friend is who I will discuss over the course of this video, giving details on her story and past. This video will only focus on details in Silent Hill 1, however, it's not going to cover any details from any sequels. This ensures that we stay focused on the original story of this character. So with no more delay, let's get right into this. <laughs> We first see this officer of the law at the very start of the game, for as Harry rides into Silent Hill, he first sees Sybil riding by on her motorcycle. Shortly afterwards, he sees the bike again, now being crashed, abandoned on the roadside, much like his own jeep. However, it isn't until a bit later that we get our formal introduction to the character. Harry wanders into the town of Silent Hill and gets ambushed by monsters as we all know at the start of the game. Then he awakens, seeing Sybil by his side. Sybil is a logical person who doesn't believe in things like witchcraft and that ilk, however even she struggles to explain what is happening in the town between the creatures and the snow, it's clear to her something is amiss here. With her even expressing that something certainly feels wrong, she just doesn't know what. She remarks that bar Harry she's seen no one else and that there's no way to communicate back to her base. Realizing the danger of the situation, she resolves to give Harry a handgun to defend himself, granting the player our first weapon. She tells him to be careful with it and be sure not to shoot her before heading out and trying to find out what's going on in the town. We don't see her again for a decent bit, and it isn't until Harry goes to the Green Line Antiques that we run into her again. It is here that she remarks that she saw a glimpse of a girl through the fog on a Bachman Road, and upon following it, it led her to an obliterated road. However, the figure continued on, seemingly walking on thin air before vanishing before her eyes. She also talks to Harry about the strange nature of the town, remarking about the flow of drugs around the town, which she was investigating as a cop, while also not believing in Harry's remarks on demons and the occult, refusing to believe in such wild ideas. The pair split back up again as Harry goes into a passageway and enters the other world. Harry would then run back into Sybil on the boat in the alternate resort area. Sybil still doesn't believe in the occult, despite Harry's insistence and really everything else going on by this point in the game, which really should have told her that this stuff was a little bit amiss. But regardless, she still doesn't believe it, and the pair decide they split back up again to look for Cheryl. Harry goes to the lighthouse and Sybil to the Wakeside Amusement Park. Harry, after going to the lighthouse, rushes to check on Sybil, but finds that he is ultimately too late, for she has been possessed by a parasite, this being the same parasite that we see throughout the hospital that has infected all of the nurses and doctors. In her infected state, she draws her gun and tries to attack him. It is here that her fate is left to the player, and depending on her fate, it will influence the results of the ending of the game. If the player obtained Aglophotis earlier in the game, in the hospital, then the player will be able to use the item on her, expelling the parasite and saving her life. Afterwards, the pair will talk about Cheryl and her mother, and give us a little bit of backstory into this character. Otherwise, the player will be forced to kill her in self-defense, as after doing so, Harry will kneel down in sadness and frustration as one of his only few allies passes on. But... She did survive this encounter, she reappears in the final confrontation of the game, playing a part in the endings. This is because before the ending of the game and really the final fight, she arrives to confront Galia de Steppe before we do. And she has a short conversation with the pair where she demands a change in what is occurring before being knocked out by Alyssa's powers. Her final fate depends on which of the two endings you got. In the bad ending, which becomes the bad plus ending if she is alive, she reawakens after the fight, walking over to Harry and slapping him out of his grief, telling him to leave as the other world collapses. While in the good ending, which again becomes the good plus ending, she reawakens and follows Harry through the light which Alyssa uses to open a portal. The pair are seen running the silent hill with the newborn baby disappearing into the fog. The game's opening sequence is henceforth altered, replacing Harry's wife with Sybil. But now that I've covered everything to do with Sybil, um... That's really all I've got for this video. Sybil is a pretty straightforward character that we don't get too much backstory on throughout the events of the game, and is really just a nice reassuring help to help us throughout the chaos that is occurring. I intend on slowly covering the lore of Silent Hill over the next couple of weeks, 
It's an amazing game, and I truly love it. So I definitely want to be able to dig into its war further. So feel free to subscribe if you'd like to see more, or comment if you have any specific suggestions. But with that, that's really all I've got for y'all today. This has been Christopher Beast, and I'll see y'all, well, next time. Thank you.